Hi guys, so today I'm here with my January favorites for you all. I feel like I haven't done a favorites video in such a long time because my last favorites was November and because I don't do a December favorites, I do a yearly favorites. So I feel like I haven't actually like sat down and done and have done a monthly favorites for you guys. But here I am with my January favorites. I feel like I have quite a few beauty favorites this month, which is usually very abnormal for me. I usually only have like two or three, but I have six beauty favorites this month and one random favorite. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump in with my beauty favorites. So my first beauty favorite this month is a product that I have been using for probably about a month now, and I've just been absolutely loving, and it is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I have been using this as an eyebrow clear brow gel and I have been loving it. I love it because it's only a dollar which is you know amazing but I love it because it's like literally hairspray for my eyebrows like I put it on and my eyebrows like I can feel them just stay in place like they do not move until I take it off at night like this is probably one of the best products I've ever tried for my brows I love it so so much I think it works really really well um, especially because I have eyebrows that like I say this all the time but like I put the brow gel in but for some reason like one of like the hairs will like hang down all throughout the day and it's so frustrating but this stuff it won't let that happen so I love this stuff so much this has definitely been a favorite for me um, I and it's only a dollar which is fantastic so I, I totally love this this is an amazing amazing product my next favorite is an eyeshadow. I actually got this in my January Ipsy bag, and when I first got it, I was so upset because I received an eyeshadow duo from this brand before, and I hated it, never used it. Um, I still haven't even touched it, so I was like, I was really upset when I got it, but I started using it, and I fell in love, and it's the Pacifica eyeshadow. I, don't, I think this is like the coconut mineral infused eyeshadow. I have the shade Ethereal, which is a really nice kind of light highlighty champagne uh, type of shade. It's really pretty, very similar to Stila's Kitten or maybe a little bit lighter than Urban Decay Sin, but I really love this for all over the lid. This has been a shadow that I have reached for to put all over my lid pretty much every single day. Of course, not today, but it's just an easy, easy eyeshadow to use. I'll put this all over the lid. I'll put like a little bit of a taupey matte color in the crease and put on some eyeliner and mascara and I'll go. And that's kind of been my everyday look this past month and I've just been loving this eyeshadow so much super super creamy super pigmented the only thing I hate is the packaging the packaging is super cheap but I mean honestly what can you do it's a really really great eyeshadow and I'm really happy that I got it in my ipsy bag and I'm glad I actually tried it and didn't just you know push it to the side and actually gave it a shot because I really really like it my next favorite is a product that I really wanted to feature in my top 14 products of 2014 but I feel like I couldn't justify doing it because I'd purchased it more towards like the end of December so I didn't want to like put it in there because I didn't feel like it really got enough love throughout the year but it's definitely a favorite of mine you'll probably see it in like top 15 products of 2015 but it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal this is one of the best highlighters I've ever used in my entire life oh it's so so pretty and like I always try and like save it for when we're going out but like I know even if I wore it every single day this entire year I probably wouldn't even hit pan on it because I use a little fan brush with it the tiniest bit goes the longest way and it just gives you like the prettiest like glow to your face it's just so stunning it's so pigmented I really really I'm really glad I actually splurged and bought this because I love it so much it's so pretty and this product, I don't even know where this has been my whole life because this is just like the prettiest highlighter in the entire world and I want to wear this every day for the rest of my life. Like, I love it so, so much. The next three beauty favorites are lip products. The first two, like I told you guys with the Pacifica eyeshadow, I kind of just been like slapping on like a certain look every day. And as far as lips go, I haven't really worn anything crazy like this unless I'm filming and I just kind of go for something really subtle so I've been going for lip glosses which is something I never typically used to do I used to never really wear lip gloss but I have two lip glosses that I've been reaching for back kind of like interchangeably throughout the month the first is the NYX butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie this is the lightest nude shade that I have I do have creme brulee as well which is a little bit more of a pinky nude but I've been reaching for fortune cookie it just gives like the lightest kind of little tint of gloss to your lips it doesn't really like nude it or anything or make it look really weird but it just gives like a nice little glossy look to your lips it's really long lasting they smell nice and I've just kind of been reaching for this one a lot and really liking it the other one I've been reaching for this is a miniature size is the buxom I think this is like 
a lip polish I believe I don't think this is like the buxom lip gloss but I think it's the lip polish and the shade white Russian it's a little baby size of it but I love it so so much it's a really pretty light natural pink color really pigmented for a lip gloss and it applies really really well whenever I run out of this I'm definitely gonna purchase the full size because I like it so I've been kind of using these interchangeably throughout the month and loving them and then my last beauty favorite is a lipstick again I wanted to feature this in my top 14 of 2014 products but I felt like I didn't give it enough Enough time to really use it but it's still a product that I really really love and it's a MAC lipstick in the shade Yash and it's a matte I never have heard anyone talk about this lipstick before in my entire life on YouTube I've never heard anyone mention this I bought this from a blog sale um, just kind of on a whim because this was like right when like all the dark nudes were coming out and I felt like I couldn't find one that really suited me really well so I just was like okay I'll try a bunch of them so I got this like super cheap from a blog sale and the first time I put it on I was just instantly in love with it it's like the perfect brown nude for my skin tone which is like extremely fair so it looks really really pretty um, and I've been reaching for it a lot. If I'm not wearing lip gloss, if I actually want to wear a lipstick and I don't want to wear kind of like a pink or a super light nude, which is what I typically go for, I'll use this. And I really like it. It's just like a brown and it looks really 90s, really, really on trend. And I just really like the color. Again, no one's talked about it, but it, it's really nice. I really like it. I told you guys at the beginning I had one random favorite, but I actually have two random favorites. The first I don't have here to show you. I actually left it out in the dining room area where it usually hangs out, and that is my planner. Now, I usually use a planner. I've been using a planner every year since high school, like back freshman year of high school. So I've been using a planner consistently during high school, and then after high school I was using just a planner. Um, and I liked them. They're easy. I didn't decorate or anything. I just kind of wrote in my you know work schedule, film schedule, bills, things like that. But... I've recently jumped on the planner like bandwagon. I don't have an Erin Conjure and I have a plum paper planner which you can buy on Etsy and I love it. I decorate it constantly. It's like one of my favorite things to do is like decorate it and write in it and it's like I look at it like every single second that I'm next to it because I just love it so so much. It's definitely been a favorite of mine. I'm thinking about doing maybe a planner, a couple planner videos on my channel so if you're interested in those let me know but um yeah I've been loving me my planner it's definitely been a favorite it's it's amazing I love I love planning and I love the planner community I follow so many like planner Instagrams now my last random favorite for January is my favorite scent of the month. I've been doing this for quite a bit now since I started selling Scentsy and it's so funny. My favorite scent of the month is January's actual scent of the month and it was Ice Hotel. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. Uh, this was actually Brian and I's both of our favorites. It smells so good. It's very minty, which we really like minty smells, but it has citrus too, which I really like. It's like a combination of two of my favorite smells, mint and citrus, and it just smells really, really good good very crisp very clean and it travels so well like it has such a good throw um like we would put it in our dining room well we have one in here right now with Brian he has it in his former and I would put it out in the dining room and I'm pretty sure at one point we had it in the bathroom too but anyway so we would put it in there and turn it on and be able to smell it like all throughout our apartment and it just smells so good very clean um it just yeah it has like a really clean scent and I really really like it so this has definitely been a favorite ice hotel like where has this been my whole life? This smells so good. This is it for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.